So today in this video, we'll see uh, how we can create uh, lookups um, using import method. So in gen uh, generally, we'll, we'll create lookups in application composer uh, while, while creating a field or while editing a field uh, of S FCL type. So if we have less number of uh, lookup codes and lookup types, we can create from uh, application composer or we can even create from manage standard lookups. But what if we have uh, like 100 or 1000 um, or, or more than, in, in hundreds, like 200 or 300 lookup codes. So in that case, we can use import method. So it can be done quickly after creating files. So now I'm taking one example of uh, um, uh, creating lookups. So where we have um, one one lookup type, and we are going to create, and one the the values uh, in that lookup. So we are going to create uh, one set of lookup type and one um, the lookup codes inside uh, that lookup type. So uh, the format of the lookup type file should be like this. So we need to use uh, we need to use um, pipeline for for separation for a com separated uh, to separate one uh, one column to another column. So we should use this pipeline character. So the mandatory uh, mandatory ones are lookup type. So what type, uh, what lookup type we should give that name of uh, the lookup type name we should, uh, we have to give, right? So that is this one and lookup type meaning. So in this case, I'm using one uh, country list. So I'm creating one uh, lookup type called country, demo country. So for that, I'm giving um, this uh, values and description uh, we should, we can give. Uh, if we don't want to give a description, we can just remove uh, this value. And module type will be application. So we can use this as a default one. Uh, so it can be up available for uh, uh, across application. And module key can be FND uh, because this is this will store in FND lookups. We can use FND. And reference group name uh, we can add if this is a uh, like set enabled lookup. So if it is a set enabled lookup type, we can use this re reference group name uh, column. So otherwise we can just leave it as, uh, uh, as blank. So in this example, I'm, I'm leaving it as blank because this is this one, I'm not considering it as a set enabled lookup. So, uh, so after giving this, we need to save this file. So I'm saving as, demo country dot csv we should save as a csv file and uh, you can put it as all types uh, we have saved uh, the lookup types right so lookup type file we created so if we are importing multiple row, multiple lookup types, so we can just add one more row here. So in, in, in place of demo country, I can add demo states or demo um, cities, something like that. We can add for another lookup type. So for now, I'm just creating only one lookup type. So I'm just keeping only one row here. So there is, it means there is one extra row. So I'm just removing and then I'm saving it. So next, uh, we need to create a lookup code file. Okay. So this is, so here we need to specify. So the values we are defining here uh, is belongs to which lookup type. So that we are specifying it here. So uh, in previous file, we are using demo country, right? Same uh, to the same lookup type, I'm associating this lookup codes. So here I defined lookup code 
and then the display sequence we can give enabled flag so whether it's a y or n y means it's enabled n means it's not enabled so start some from which date to which date uh, the active state so that we can give uh, in this format so this format is uh, date and uh, month and then year so in this format we should give the date uh, field and then uh, enabled uh, enabled is uh, y r n right so then we have meaning so meaning is uh, like for this lookup code us what is the meaning so in this case i am giving same but uh, we can give uh, even uh, in a, an, another meaningful way so like uh, united states of america so we can give like that also so in descriptive in description i'm giving the uh, full name and if we have any tags we can give and the, and the last one is set name so in the uh, uh, for set enable lookup types so we we can uh, we can give here reference group name that is uh, like country reference or uh any other uh, reference right so if we are using country reference here uh so we can give here the set name like uh it's so this lookup code is belongs to india or uh, uh, some other state or some other country or something like that that we can give so whatever uh reference group val group values we have that we can use in the set name field so uh, currently i am not using uh, set enable lookups right so uh, i'm i'm just keeping the tag and set name as blank so i just but we need to use this pipeline characters so if you are not using so then we can just give it as a blank but format should be exactly it looks it should be look like this and um, here we have uh, some required and uh, no uh, some optional fee uh, optional columns so the required uh, columns are lookup type lookup code and then uh, enabled flag and then meaning are the uh, uh, required fields and display sequence uh, start date end date and description tag set name so these are all optional fields uh, if it is standard lookup if it is set enable look set name should be required in the same way uh, like in lookup type file so a lookup type is required meaning is required and then uh, module type and module key are required and also uh, we need to note down lookup type uh, code and lookup code so where we will use this right demo country and um, lookup code here so these two fields are uh, the maximum length for this column is 30 characters so we should not give uh, more than that and for meaning uh, so whether it can be a lookup code meaning or lookup type meaning we can give up to 80 characters and description have even more than that so uh, even i'm and i will be saving this file uh, look up quotes dot csv and all types so we need to note down this file names demo underscore country uh dot csv and uh this is lookup quotes dot csv look look quotes dot csv demo country csv <laughs> so now file preparation is done uh, so then we need to import it so uh, for that we should go to the 
a manage standard lookups task so before going to manage standard lookups task we need to upload in content server uh, to upload in content server we can use uh, the file import and export uh, tool under tools under tools we have file import and export right so we can use that here we'll upload the file files uh, so we have created lookup codes and lookup can uh, lookup codes and lookup type right so i'm uploading both of these in uh, in functional setup manager import path so in this path i'm uploading uh, this particular file so i'll upload here same way uh, another file for lookup type i'm uploading in the same path so this files will be in this path so now upload is completed and uh, now we can go to manage setup and setup and maintenance and then um, manage standard lookup task so also we should note down uh, one thing is uh, we should activate lookups uh, uh, lookups tool if we are using in uh, if we are using or if you are doing import in sandbox if you are not using sandbox directly uh, we can import but if you are using sandbox we should activate lookups tool so then only uh, uh, it will be in edit mode so otherwise it will be only read read mode so if we go if we go here um so first we'll check so with this demo country is there any lookup type available so just for so it's it's not no data so now we can go to action here under uh, search results here we can see um if we want to create manually we can use this new or plus button and then we can create a uh, lookup lookup type uh, from from ui right uh, if we want to use uh, if we want to use uh, import method we should click this import method so before that will i'm just i'll just remove this column so i'm using import method so we have chosen the path right account so same path i am choosing to get the file whatever we imported there so now here we have two uh, files right so if i if i want to create only lookup type files or if i want to create only lookup types so i can just use uh, i can i can give my file name here and then i can upload or if i if i have already lookup type and then uh, all that information is uh, uh, given in the file lookup code file and then i can just give lookup code file here for existing lookup types and then i can import so if i have both lookup type and lookup code at a time if i want to uh, if i want to create so then i can use uh, uh, i can specify both at uh, at the same time uh the file names so this is my lookup file name lookup type file name right and then lookup code file name so both i am mentioning here and then i am uploading so it will take a few seconds and then it will give a log file so that will tell uh, whether the import is succeeded or not so once it reach it 100 so it means import process is completed and we'll get a log file so we can open this so this is our log file where it will say uh, 
for uh, lookup types we have given one and uh, there is no error count error and it imported so it will tell here whether uh, the records we provided are uh, updated or inserted so in our case it is inserted same way uh, uh, this part is for uh, lookup codes so here also we can see total records uh, total uh, records created is four and out of four all are inserted it means all are created newly and to verify this so we can go to the uh, our demo country uh, lookup type yeah so now if i if i just search uh, whatever i i gave uh, in my file so with that it created see uh if you notice like uh, we have uh, we have given for two values we have given as n so it means so these two are inactivated india and uh, uk so now i can use this particular lookup type in my application so now if i if, even if, if i create a new lookup so i don't need to define um, i don't need to define the lookup type again so while creating a field a lookup type uh, uh, fcl field i can just use this particular lookup type and i can just associate so uh, suppose uh, if i want to use this the lookup type I, uh, we created in event object so i'm creating one uh, choice list fixed choice list and uh, i can i can use this as a country country field so here uh, we have this uh, search and select lookup right so uh, if i if i want to create from ui we can we can use that uh, uh, this uh, new button so currently uh, we have already created from um, import right so that lookup type i'm specifying here so i'm searching and if you notice uh, whatever lookups we created those are coming here and then i'm selecting this particular lookup type to this fcl and i'll create it and the same field we can expose in ui so that we can see the results uh, whatever are the active values those will be appear in ui so that's all for uh, for this topic thank you